a single dream is more powerful than a thousand realities. This is a quote from Nathaniel Hawthorne, who is a novelist who wrote The Scarlet Letter, amongst other things. Hi, it's Adrian Cornejo. I'm Casey Kerfoot. This is Caitlin Andres. And we are with the Cornejo and Kerfoot real estate team in Bloomington, Illinois. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our great tour Thursdays where we take a ride through different areas in central Illinois and give you the scoop on the neighborhood. So this week we are taking a tour around Hawthorne Hills, which is um, actually not named after the author of that quote, but rather the Hawthorne tree. And just um, some things that we really love about the neighborhood is that there's lots of nice mature trees. Um, there's a pond, tennis courts, it's close to the trails as well. Um, and also just some fun facts. Homeowners, when they moved in and originally built this neighborhood, had to plant a minimum of 12 trees. Six had to be um, evergreen type, and then one in the front yard had to be a hawthorn tree. Um, and also the hawthorn tree symbolizes love and protection. Um, and in the Celtic culture, it's actually bad luck to cut down a hawthorn tree. Crazy. <laughs> okay, so that, that explains why I like this neighborhood so much more than some of the other ones built at the same time because I love trees so it makes it feel like a lot older more established neighborhood yeah. I actually learned that yeah and you'll with see um, with this research I had no idea that that was a thing uh -huh. I didn't either and you'll see when we drive through the neighborhood like all the trees and um, we'll kind of talk about when the neighborhood was established so you can, and you'll get that by the trees so I hope you guys enjoy the tour you ready yeah let's go okay so Hawthorne is between, like the neighborhood, is between, um, it's east of Airport Road um, and it's north of GE Road and then the borders are Hawthorne Acres and the east side of Eagle Crest. Well on the east, east side, side of Hawthorne, Hawthorne is borders Eagle, Eagle Crest. Crest. Yeah. And on the north side it borders Hawthorne Acres. Yes. Yeah. Um, they do have an HOA. Um, and they have monthly, they have a monthly meeting every month. And then with that, they also have a tennis court, they have a pond that you can fish in, and they also have like a walking trail that kind of goes between the pond and, um, some of the streets. And then that, oh, they have a tennis court. Is there a yeah. Tennis? Okay. Yep. And then there's roughly 900 residents who live in Hawthorne Hill. Um, and then... Larry B or Larry B Biefeld was the one that developed Hawthorne and it was developed in 1986. Majority of the homes were built between 1990 and 1999 with a few of them being built in the very early 2000s. I think there was one that was like 2007 but it was like an oddball. Yeah but for the most part they were all built within the 90s. And most of them in the 2000s are on Smoky Court which is kind of its own little street. Yeah. Um, so there are actually two active homes in Hawthorne right now. There's two pendings, and then there has been 12 closed within the last 12 months, or six months. Sorry, six months. We went back six months. Yeah. Um, and then, so the average sale price is $384,000. And then if we look at that, if we break it in ranges, the low range is three hundred five, and then on the high range, you have four twenty. So, and all those ranges depend too on how updated they are, um, because with this neighborhood, since it's been here for 30 years-ish, um, you see some houses have been completely updated, some have been untouched, some have been, it's a mixture. So, it really just depends on how updated they are with the price. Yep. I, because of that, like, I like to look at neighborhoods where you can gain equity. This is a great one if you don't mind doing the updates. It kind of works on a couple levels. These are all nice big houses. So if you need a lot of space in a nice neighborhood and you find one that hasn't been updated, you can get a good price for it. Then you put the updates and it's going to be, you'll gain the value. So it's a great yeah. neighborhood to do that. Yep. So that's something I'm always looking at is like, is, is there room to do that within a neighborhood? And sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. Yep. This is a great one for that. Yeah. For getting a lot of house for your money and then being able to make it your own. Quality built homes, though. Yeah. 
Um, they also, it's also close to Four Seasons Health Club. You have Gill Street right down the road. You have Ancho Agave, Biagi's. Across the street, you have Tipton Park that gets into the trail, like the Constitution, that can take you anywhere you want to go, pretty much, in and Bloomington it, Normal. It borders right here, too, the Constitution yeah. Trail. Yeah, um, uh, the, GE. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> it borders GE as well, but then it also goes into airport. Um, and then with, so that's really nice, too, because it's convenient, and you're, when this was built, this was probably more considered the edge of town, but now. I would say that's. Yeah, accurate. I mean, when it was. But, I'm old enough to remember. Yeah, but now, <laughs> but now it's. I think it's in a great location because you're not like in in town, but you can get to everything within 10 to 15 minutes. You know, yeah. like everything is. I always do it. It's how close can I get to Target? That porch is gorgeous. Those flowers. Oh so yeah. So um, that is pretty much. Oh, and it's Unified Schools. So that's good too. Yeah, North Point Elementary. It said it was Park Park High, High. Junior High, and uh, Normal Community. Yes. So uh, be sure to su uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our content that is sure to help you to be inspired, be confident, and be moved. As always, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.